Hello and welcome back to another one of my mission, Team of the Century, Series 2, Episode number 7, I do believe, um, with our Maria. And we, well, in the last episode, we did quite well. We beat Atletico Bilbao and I think Celta Vigo. We beat Celta Vigo 1 0 and Bilbao 4 2. So let's try and continue our winning ways. Well, it's not really winning ways, but our form against Betis. I think it's Real Betis. It is Real Betis. And they have El Sharari. Okay. And Fernando Torres up front. Something to be afraid of. Put in high pressure. Alright, we need to get them on the counter again. Get them, get them. Bettinho. Is out. Titi Gaudini. No one's in the box. Oh my goodness. Go on, Bettinho. Yes, come on. Come on, 1 0. And just when I thought the chance was gone, Bettinho finds himself in the area, hits the post, and goes in. Goalkeeper can't reach it. It's 1 0. Oh, Al Sharari's running at us. Oh, my days. No, don't do this, please. No, no. Oh. <laughs> and it's Fernando Torres and Al Sharari. Or El Sharari, the two players I discussed at the beginning of the match, and I, I indicated that they were the deadly ones, and they showed that very, very, very quick response. All right, that's nice stuff. Oh, hoop, coop, lost the ball, win it back, and it's half time. Uh, good showing. We've been on the attack quite a lot. I'm going to take off Hoot Coop, bring Vion on, and bring a Kang on for Fesha. And we're going to get into the second half. Is her Keens. Which is so bad. Oh, come on. I think I'm asking a bit too much, but... Judging from last episode, they can do it. Go! Vion! Oh, yes! No! <laughs> that, oh, just one pass was needed. We're still on the attack, though. It's Bettinho. That rhymed. Try and cross it in. We can't. Andre. Lovely stuff. Oh, my. Make yourself available. They're marked and they just stay marked. Ah, oh, and it's 1 1. We get another draw. I think this one was, we were at home. No, we were away. Still, a draw's not good enough. Even uh, though we draw, we still move up places. We're in 13th position now. It was better than two episodes ago when we were in 17th, I think. Or, yeah, we're in 17th position. So, I am going to uh, do some team training. And I'll be back for the second game of this episode. Okay, we have done some team training. And we're ready to get into the second game of this episode. But before we do that, uh, I want to discuss the transfers. So we're approaching the January transfer window. And um, our star rating is at 3 stars. So we'll be able to get um, a 65 to 70 rated player. Um, so I'll probably be looking to get a 69 rated player even though we have some money in the bank I do want to invest that in a new stadium well I'm not gonna rebuild the stadium I'll probably just add a few stands or um, increase the capacity of the stands so let's get into the final game of this episode we're playing Sevilla We're at home for this one, so we better win. Go on, Aruna. Okay, that's a nice ball. Oh, he's offside. And we approach half time, nil nil. Ah, uh, this is not good. I feel like we're going back to our old ways. I thought we would be able to uh, 
to start winning. I'm going to take off Huku because he's been disappointing. Fessa gets tired quite easily, so I'm taking him off as well. And we'll get into the second half. Let's go. Don't tell me that this is going to be another nil nil draw or something. Go. Rion. T. Galdini. Oh, we're lacking. Cross it in. Hit it. Oh, no. That was our opportunity. If Vion had a lot of energy. Okay, we, we can still win this. No, we can't. Goalkeeper collects. It looks like he's going to kick it out. And the goalkeeper's probably going to blow. Yep, there we go. It's nil-nil. Another draw. Two draws. We're back to, to non-winning ways. And uh, we only collected two points out of a possible six in this episode. And I'm probably going to do some training off camera. If you enjoyed, click that like button. This is going to be the end of the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one.